Konnichiwa. Hello everyone. This is the duck in Japan. Today I'm at Masanobu Shrine up in the mountains of Sakakimachi above our house. And I've come here to roast coffee. So today I'd like to explain a reason that I have never electrified my coffee roasting setup. You'll notice that I have thermocouples and things attached, but essentially my roasting technique is in this pan and I can do it on a camp stove like I just have today without any electricity. There's nothing to plug in here. I am monitoring temperatures and things, but I'm using a laptop that has a battery so I can go anywhere. There have been many temptations over the last six years as I've been roasting coffee to complicate this thing and to add new features and automation. So for example, it's quite the rage right now to roast with convection, like an air popcorn popper. But you need electricity for that. And my, one of my litmus tests is no electricity. Some of the other temptations that have come into play. It might be nice to have a motor stir the beans. I could hook it up to a battery, but that would probably tempt me to go for electricity. So I prefer to stir with a whisk by myself. Because my thermocouple setup has the functionality to support what's called PID, which is use the computer to adjust the heat so that you get a nice perfect curve of your roast. And it would be nice to be able to just pour one's beans into a cool down tray and have it automatically rotate them and perhaps blow air on them. But I have resisted all of these temptations so far. I suppose I have two adages. One is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the second is, no power, no problem. So some of the times that this has really bailed me out are when there are power outages. In Japan, we don't have very many power outages, but actually we had one this week. They're announced ahead of time. So we had a two hour power outage. No problem, I can roast. Another instance when this has come in very useful is when I travel. I don't have to forego roasting. In fact, in the States, I have an extra roasting pan. So I can hop over to the States and get some green beans and I'm able to roast by myself. And a third instance when this has come in very useful is when it's too hot to roast. When it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit over 30 degrees in the kitchen at 4 or 5 a.m. it's time to climb up into the mountains and roast coffee here. So that's a, a reason why I haven't succumbed to the temptations of electrifying and complicating my roasting apparatus more than it already is. And I thank you very much for watching today. In my surroundings here, it's less gorillas that I have to worry about protecting myself from than it is wild boars and bears. Last year, I met my first bear up here in the mountains, but it was a happy greeting and I'm still here. Bear is still here from what I hear. One time I was roasting coffee up here in the mountains and a wild boar came charging down the hill. Fortunately, I had located my table and set up out of the general path of egress. So there was no problem there, but I had beans as a weapon, hot beans as a weapon if I needed them. So thank you very much for watching my videos. As always, I love to hear what you have to say, your ideas for things I should 
handle in future videos. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Matane.